Good morning everyone and happy Monday. Uh, by the time that you watch this, it's probably going to be already a new year. So happy 2021. Uh, I hope that you have a wonderful year. I'm still in uh, 2020, unfortunately, but that's fine. Uh, I'm kind of getting ready now. I thought that I'm going to start this vlog here. Uh, I got ready and I showered. Uh, I'm actually going for a walk. Uh, I'm off. I'm not working, but there is not like much going on because uh, I'm in a lockdown again. A lockdown number three, I think. I actually I lost lost the count to be honest. So I'm in like tier four, which is basically lockdown. Like London and surrounding areas are in lockdown. So so yeah, there is not much going on. But I still thought I'm gonna start this vlog here and kind of I like to start the vlogs in the morning for some reason. So I decided to to do that now. I'm gonna take you with me to this walk. I'm first gonna kind of get dressed because it's really cold outside. And it's really misty. It was supposed to snow this morning, but it didn't. So it's quite actually cold. So I'm gonna kind of get dressed in something super warm and cozy and kind of take you with me for a quick walk this morning. I'm dressed now, uh, super comfy and cozy. And I just realized that I don't have anywhere to show you my outfit because I moved this mirror. If you remember that in the past, I used to have a mirror there. And I kind of painted these doors uh, in a kind of black color which you can probably tell because I painted them and you can see the marks from the brush which is a bit annoying. Uh, it was the first time for me to paint something in black and that's why there are marks so I might kind of repaint that uh, at some point in the future. But uh, this has changed as well. I put the TV at the kind of the wall. It's so much better and it kind of saves the space. And this was my kind of Christmas present, the coffee table book from the Tom Ford. And the diptyque candle, this one is kind of the berries, it smells amazing. So this is new, so I might kind of add a few more bits here at some point, or kind of maybe buy more coffee table books. But back to the outfit, I have this mirror here, so I might just use this one. Uh, I wear the Acne scarf, a really warm one, uh, and this uh, Zara parka, kind of a jacket that is super warm. And uh, I'm also gonna put some boots at the feet. I also have these socks that are kind of for Christmas. It's kind of uh, uh, an avocado, which is uh, supposed to be a reindeer. So it's really cute. So <laughs> I'm wearing those today. I decided to go for these boots from Bershka because I'm not sure how kind of muddy is it outside. And also like these ones are like super uh, inexpensive. So even if I ruin them, I don't mind as much, but <sighs> I wanted to buy the hunter boots, kind of the valleys for box, but the other day, like not like maybe last week, I tried to buy them, and they were out of stock. Which was I actually searched on a couple of web a website, not just on the hunter website. So I think that I might kind of try to buy them in the future because I realized that they are like super handy for walks. I couldn't under really understand why people wear them so much here in the UK, but. Now that I kind of live here, uh, it does make sense to, to have them, especially now where we can't really do much apart from like going for a walk. So, so yeah, I really need the valleys now. Oh no, look at this. I thought that I can get through the, there because there is a massive field just behind that. And I actually can't because it's all flooded. That's so bad, I didn't know that it's like this. I used to go the other side, the opposite side. But I didn't know that it's like this from this from this side. I guess I'm gonna just find a different part, but it's such a shame. This is this used to be my favorite part for, for running. Well that was a bit unfortunate that there is that flooding, but I'm going on the opposite side. Uh, it's a bit unfortunate because there, there are like cars, many many cars here, so I can't really talk. I mean, I can talk, but you're not gonna hear me. <sighs> and I wanted to like talk about Christmas and what I did for Christmas and all that, but maybe I'll just find a quieter area when I, when I get there or something, because there's like many many cars today, it's Monday, so I assume that's why. So yeah, it's all good. I found a different path to the same kind of field. And this is what I meant when I said it's cold. Look at this, it's all foggy and it's like cold. 
and it rained all night but that's fine it even was supposed to uh, snow and look at my boots <laughs> but that's why I said I need valets because this is literally I don't kind of live in the countryside but this is something that is like essential even if you don't live in countryside and there's like many fields like this one around where I live and I prefer to go for walks there than like around the streets and parks so yeah so also I didn't say, uh, tell you Merry Christmas because obviously I didn't post anything over the Christmas I kind of took about 10 days off I think from work and obviously from YouTube and everything because I just kind of needed them and initially I was supposed to use those 10 days to go to Serbia for like kind of Christmas and to spend Christmas with my family there but in the end obviously I didn't which was a shame so during the Christmas I just kind of stayed at home I ate too much I cooked a little bit but not like too much and yeah it was really lovely I ate like so many sweets so many kind of traditional Serbian food as well but also we had turkey we had like kind of usual kind of Christmas stuff and it was really lovely I watched like so many Christmas movies and I kind of tried to get that Christmas vibe like I usually have but I'm not gonna lie it was pretty hard because as I think for everyone it's, it was pretty different so I ended up like I felt fine but I just didn't have that kind of Christmas feeling like I would usually have so sorry my what uh, runny nose but yeah it didn't feel as Christmassy like it does every year but that's fine I guess it doesn't have to be the same every year and I'm just kind of happy that I'm healthy and like kind of people that I love are also healthy so that's what's most important and we'll be able to kind of see each other for the kind of next Christmases and the years to come so yeah that was my Christmas and I just wonder how was your Christmas and what did you do I assume probably the same like had so much food and watch Christmas movies because I assume that everyone did the same and yeah let me know what you what you did for your Christmas and what you got for presents and what what did you, what do you miss the most this year comparing to the last years previous years whatever so yeah I'm gonna kind of try to get on the opposite side of this field if I can I realize that every time that I go on this path it's always different and some roads are closed or something is flooded or something there is a tree that fell down or something so it's always unexpected and this is why you need valleys when you live in the UK because I just basically ruined these Bershka boots completely but that's fine I don't mind it at least I didn't go for Bottega Veneta ones I'm home now I had to change these sweats because the other one was uh, full of mud so uh, I'm gonna kind of make some quick breakfast now I'm thinking about scrambled eggs or something like that that is like kind of super quick just so that I can have it before I, I starve because I didn't have anything this morning the eggs are getting cooked here and I'm also making some toast over there also have like some leftovers from the Christmas which is like a Serbian kind of Serbian type of salad it's called like mimosa so I'm probably gonna have that next to eggs so that I kind of finish this uh, before it goes off basically so this is how my breakfast turned out nothing special because I'm not a great cook just kind of a bunch of stuff that I had in fridge but I'm really hungry so I'm kind of getting to it I also have this uh, Ivar which is basically kind of a Serbian or maybe like more Macedonian kind of thing it's made with peppers and I'm really happy that I found this in one of the shops which is kind of has like kind of European food and also has like I think mostly like Polish uh, food but I was happy to find uh, this there so if you ever come across this give it a go because it's really delicious there this one is uh, actually produced in Croatia but I used to f uh, find a different one that is 
uh, actually from Macedonia so definitely it's available in UK if you want to give it a go. I'm kind of craving a coffee right now so that's what I'm gonna make. I also have some uh, cupcakes that which like uh, are leftovers from Christmas as well so I'm gonna kind of have that now and then I'm gonna I think I'm gonna do some TikToks, kind of film them because I have some content that I want to shoot. So I have my coffee which I'm very happy about and I just uh, got my laptop here because I think that uh, I'm gonna kind of respond to a couple of emails that I need to uh, do and then I'm gonna go upstairs and film that TikTok. Uh, by the way, I have this uh, my laptop in this Native Union case which I recently got just before Christmas I think and it's the best thing ever. It's like so thin, but it's also like really protective and has a magnet here so you can just pop your laptop inside and then literally it just closes itself. So it's really good and literally it's so protective. So that's something that I really like. So I have my laptop here and I'm gonna enjoy my coffee now. By the way, I don't think that I showed you my Christmas tree. It's just over there. So. So this is on the desk, I think that you've probably already seen this in my last vlog and over here I have this Woodwick candle which kind of cracks while it burns, I really like that one and over there is the Christmas tree, it's just kind of missing some skirting but this is the Christmas tree from the last year and I didn't really want to invest too much in a Christmas tree uh, this year because we we're probably gonna buy a new one once we move out. I just finished filming that TikTok and uh, it's a bit messy now, so this is a little BTS, so the snow is over there and I had a bowl of snow here and my tripod and uh, the phone is over there, so it is a little bit messy, but I'm gonna kind of tidy it now uh, and uh, the snow was way too wet, I think that I put way too much water so hopefully I'm gonna be able to hoover it now, so I'm gonna kind of try to tidy this area right now because it's it's just a mess. I'm back at the old spot at the sofa and it's already dark outside. It's like 3 or 4 p.m. now. I made myself a pasta with the pesto sauce and uh, parmesan. It's just here, so I'm gonna have that now. Uh, and I'm kind of tempted to watch some uh, Netflix or actually Friends. I'm on the season 7, I think, now and I'm really enjoying it. I started watching Friends about a month ago and I'm enjoying it so much because it's it's just so fun and it's one of the classics that I haven't watched before so I kind of started watching that uh, in the previous lockdown and it's just really nice and it's also like the episodes are really short so it's really kind of easy to stick an episode on the lunch or maybe uh, if you if you have time or like to be honest in the last kind of couple of days I did watch kind of a couple of uh, episodes uh, in the evenings I'm in the bed already uh, I watched maybe like two episodes of Friends which was quite nice and now I'm better uh, because it's not actually that late, it's like 9 p.m. or something like that but I just want to have a kind of an early night because last night I didn't really sleep well I'm probably gonna read a little bit of this book as well that I started last week it's called The Guy Called uh, Ove which is basically by Frederick Beckman he is a Swedish author and I really enjoyed this book because I started last week and it's really kind of relaxed, chilled book that you can read kind of before sleep, at least I find it really funny and kind of relaxing so I'm probably gonna read that and then I'll probably speak with you in the morning then Good morning everyone, what a look! <laughs> it's amazing isn't it? Happy 2021, it's the next day, so this is a New Year's Day uh, and I haven't logged yesterday when it was New Year's Eve uh, how are you doing? Hope that you had a wonderful uh, first day of the year and kind of the New Year's Eve, probably at home like I did. I I kind of uh, watched BBC and uh, that's what I did basically for my New Year's Eve. Uh, it was actually quite nice because I kind of got to finish work earlier and then I kind of had a really nice dinner and kind of I had half of the glass of champagne because I couldn't drink because of the racketing. But yeah, it was quite lovely. Uh, a bit different New Year's Eve th th this year. Uh, so yeah, I hope that you had a wonderful day as well. Uh, I hope that we all have a much better year uh, this 2021 and that uh, we all kind of get together this year and that we can meet uh, this year and that we can kind of enjoy uh, this year a lot more than we did the last year. Uh, I'm still in the bed, I just finished my uh, first coffee of the day. 
uh, and I'm kind of having a lazy day today because it's obviously a New Year's Day uh, but yesterday I received my yoga mat from Amazon and I kind of thought to maybe do a little exercise today it's not gonna be like an exercise more like kind of a stretching or something like that so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna shower and do this uh, hair kind of wash my hair because it's it's really messy and I had a good kind of nine hours of sleep so this is what the outcome is Just finished my little stretching and the sun is actually quite strong this morning uh, I kind of downloaded this app that is actually uh, just for a certain muscles certain kind of stretching it's called the asterisk fix this app here and it's essentially for your kind of lower abdomen and kind of core muscles to fix them so I kind of I was happy to find it on YouTube and the app is pretty straightforward so you just think kind of i'm trying to figure out how to to do everything because for example for one of the exercises you need mirror so i use that for one of the exercises but it's not that hard it's like you it doesn't require as much strength it's more kind of the technique that you use and it's just really kind of targeting the lower abdomen muscles to kind of uh, strengthen them and also like the back as well uh, I'll talk about that more in future if if it does work out for me but because at the moment I, I've literally just tried it today so I'll see if obviously it has any effect so yeah I'm gonna kind of shower now because I'm a little bit sweaty and this hair is just bugging me how uh, messy it is I just showered and I'm looking at myself into the mirror and literally I'm noticing how much my kind of skin has cleared from acne I mean this racketin I was kind of delaying uh, to use the racketin for such a long time but to be honest I never had this this good results with anything else that I use for acne so I'm pretty happy with it I mean I do have kind of some scarring here and here but that's something that can be like treated later once uh, the kind of I uh, come off the racketin which is probably gonna be in March I believe I hope at l actually so, so yeah, I'm gonna kind of now dry my hair and yeah, get ready. Uh, I know that this kind of middle picture is missing. It's actually down, down there. If you can see it, it's over there. It actually fell uh, off the wall during the night when I, when I was asleep. I think like uh, last, not last night, but the night before. And I can, couldn't even hear that. And I just woke up with the picture on the floor. And it's actually because it's not like on the, um, how is that called? It's like not drilled into the wall, it's just like those tags that you kind of stick to the wall and then that's how it hangs. So it just happened that in the middle of the night it just kind of it fell down. So, so yeah. I'm gonna use my standard kind of hair products from Hans Difficult Claymation. And also the bed head uh, hairspray. This is gonna not nothing special because I'm not really going anywhere. At, at least I think, even though it's pretty sunny. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna go anywhere. But I just like to have my hair done. So this is kind of the finished look. I am kind of due to have a haircut, so that's why these bits are kind of long. But Obviously the hairdresser is closed. I was supposed to have a haircut this weekend actually. So I'm not really sure when that's gonna happen. But until that happens, this is gonna have to be the look. I'm kind of sat in the living room and I'm doing a little bit of work. I'm kind of going through the my plans for 2021 and kind of goals. And I'm having a ginger and lemon tea here. It's actually really delicious. I think that there is a little bit of honey or something, or sweetener maybe. But it's kind of the, the one that you, uh, it's a bottle and then you dilute it with the, the water. But it's actually really delicious. But 
I'm gonna pop you here because I want to kind of go through uh, this kind of uh, goals for 2021 so uh, I, at the start of every year I kind of started doing that and uh, I actually started doing that maybe like two or three years ago and I know that 2020 has been so much different and obviously even if you had any goals you may not be able to fulfill them like for example for me there were some goals that were impacted and I was not able to achieve them because of the restrictions and Covid and obviously everything else but uh, I think that's something that I learned last year is definitely to make goals that will not be impacted by someone else so for example to make goals that you have power on not to kind of in a way to kind of not get disappointed as much because for example another goal for me uh, in 2020 was to travel to New York and uh, if, if you remember that I mentioned that I had that trip in May uh, to New York I mean it kind of it was supposed to be in May but I didn't go and uh, that's one of the things that for example I don't have a kind of power on and I think that it's really important to create the goals that you have kind of power over so that's something that I'm going to do for 2021 kind of create goals that I have uh, that I can make an impact on or that kind of I will not be affected if something changes for example or if I don't know if I move or if I lose job or if I move job or anything like that you know it's something that can be easily impacted by someone else so I highly highly encourage you to do the same and to kind of create the goals even if you are in quarantine or if there are some restrictions in where you live or wherever you live I think it's really important to create goals and to kind of think about them especially if you write them down whatever they are you're gonna kind of remember and you're gonna go back to that and kind of think about that in remember in six months time in ten months time that that's something that you truly truly want and that's something that you kind of wanted at the start of the year and that was your goal so that's something that I do and that's something that I'm going through uh, kind of now that's I'm kind of creating the list now uh, it kind of starts of the 2021 and I think it's a really good time to do that sometimes I tend to do that at the end of the year kind of on 31st or maybe on 1st today I'm doing it on the 1st so let's kind of create the list together so I'm gonna kind of mention a few things from 2020 so some things that I kind of managed to do and some things that I didn't manage to do for example one of my goals for 2020 was to uh, get the UK driving license and I kind of started taking lessons in January and February, I think that my last lesson was maybe mid-March, something like that. But uh, obviously, there were no lessons uh, for a very long time because obviously of the social distancing. It's not really possible to social distance in the car, so I didn't get the UK driving license. So that's something that I'm gonna work towards uh, in uh, 2021. So one of my goals for 2021 is to get the UK driving license. Another one is something that I mentioned this morning, if you remember, those exercises for lower confabs are actually uh, for my uh, diastatis recti, it's something that I kind of found out recently, I mean always I've been struggling with that, but it's essentially that's kind of a feeling of bloated uh, tummy, and especially in kind of a lower bit, it's something that really kind of bugs me a little bit because it's not something that I kind of used to have, it's actually quite recent, maybe like two years ago or something like that, maybe a year ago. And that's uh, something that you can kind of fix and there are exercises for that. So I'm really kind of excited to work on that. So one another goal for me is to fix that the status uh, recti uh, kind of over here in kind of lower tummy. And that's something that I'm going to work on in 2021. Another goal for 2021 is uh, to continue creating content and uh, what I mean by that is to kind of create uh, content that I enjoy and create a kind of better content, better quality, uh, better edits, more ideas and kind of more uh, content that uh, I think is a uh, quality content because obviously I'm really kind of new to all of this and one of the big things for me is that I'm kind of trying to learn and kind of to try to uh, learn as much as possible kind of I'm self-taught with everything so one of the big things for me is to create a better content more quality content uh, something that kind of I enjoy uh, and kind of to bring to another level in terms of the quality of the content that I create and obviously the consistency as well so th those are kind of some of my uh, kind of goals for 2020 another one is going to be to continue saving for the property 
and uh, to kind of uh, get onto the property ladder. I'm hoping that that might be in 2021, but uh, I'm not kind of pressuring myself too much. But one of my goals is also to, to uh, continue saving for the property. So I'm gonna put that one down uh, on my list as well. Uh, so I'm kind of writing it into the planner for 2020. This one here, I've used this one all year, but I kind of ordered the, the planner for 2021. So uh, I might kind of keep the goals in this book or kind of rewrite them in the 2021 planner. But I think it's uh, really actually uh, good to have a planner and to actually go back and see what you did on that day. I might, I, the 2020 might be pretty boring to, to, for, to do that, but I also use this for the content ideas and for any appointments or anything like that. Another one, uh, another goal that I have for 2020 is to uh, kind of finish off with the racketing because obviously I'm using it now so uh, another goal is to uh, finish uh, the racketing and to to get some treatments for scars and that's something that I'm already, already in talks uh, with my dermatologist to work on that as soon as uh, I can so uh, another goal is to finish off with the racketing I'm now kind of looking at the list from the last year and some of the goals for last year are really funny, but uh, yeah, uh, uh, most of them were kind of around traveling and obviously that was that can happen. But one of the big goals that I uh, really worked uh, a lot on was to kind of stay happy and to kind of uh, have that uh, laugh around little things. And I think that has been tested a lot in the last year and I definitely feel that I achieved that. To me, one of the, the, the biggest goals for each year is to just to kind of stay happy and to kind of do the things that make me happy. So another goal in the 2021 is just to stay happy and to laugh. That's literally, it's as simple as it gets. I know that it sounds stupid, but it's actually not that stupid when you think of it because that should be everyone's goal, uh, no matter what you do and what uh, your life is or where you are from. And another goal that I think that I want to incorporate is to meditate. And that's something that I tried uh, in 2020, but I didn't manage. But now that uh, obviously my kind of exercise is not consistent, I would say, I think that uh, I, I have a lot more time to meditate or kind of to try to meditate or kind of do something uh, with my time, so I'm gonna try to meditate in 2021. So I'm gonna write that one down as well. I did try before and I didn't enjoy it as much, but I only tried a couple of times, so maybe I'll be able to actually uh, have a kind of a proper uh, meditation sessions uh, in 2021. I know that it's not uh, as easy because obviously you need to kind of, from what I read and kind of listened from the people that do meditate often is that obviously it doesn't happen straight away you need to kind of start and then obviously kind of it's almost like uh, building up in in the gym I, at least f from what I understand is that you kind of start and then obviously over uh, the time you kind of enjoy it a little bit more and you're kind of more uh, I don't know how to express that but I think it's more it's more real if over the time at least so one of the, the goals is to meditate for 2021. So so yeah, that's my little list. I might just add a few things if I do remember. It's not a massive list because I don't kind of pressure myself as much as I used to in the past, but I think it's a kind of a little list of actually goals that I really want to achieve this year. So yeah, uh, I'm definitely gonna work towards those goals. Let me know how you feel about them. Do you think that they are something that is helpful or is it a distraction or is it something that you believe in? I think that uh, lots of people create goals, but I think that there is way less people that actually achieve them. And I kind of, I was one of those people that were always, would write goals at the start of the month or start of the year or something like that, but uh, would always forget. And I think that one of the biggest ways to actually achieve those goals was to constantly remind yourself, constantly remind yourself what are your goals. For example, I would go back to this list and I would read it to list, I would constantly remind myself that's something that I want. So to kind of 
uh, ease the, the, the distractions as much as you can. So yeah, I hope that you also create your list and you kind of work towards your goals. And also I wish you the best 2021 that you could, can possibly have. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do now. Uh, I think I might go to a grocery store and buy some food for a fridge uh, because my fridge is completely empty and I might start kind of cooking some dinner because uh, I don't really, I don't know what I'm gonna eat. I only had like a really light lunch uh, and yeah, if I don't speak with you, uh, thanks so much for watching. If I do, we'll speak later.